welcome to Read Up. Here at Read Up, we get to explore the wonderful world of reading. Today, we're going to take a look at a book that takes readers back to Victorian era London. Fallen Grace by Mary Hooper paints a dark yet insightful picture of the hardships the main character, Grace Parks, faces. Set in 1861 London, Grace and her sister Lily are living in a cold and dilapidated apartment in the poorest part of town. Grace struggles to make money by selling watercress and carrying belongings for the rich. After the birth of her stillborn child, Grace is drawn into the world of funeral practices. It is here that the novel makes a sharp and suspenseful turn. The girls discover that their late father had left them a fortune which they were supposed to inherit. The reader is introduced to a slew of characters all yearning for a chance to get a hold of the park's fortune. Aid comes from unsuspecting characters, as does deceit. This fascinating tale about the bonds of sisterhood and the adversity of Victorian era England draw readers in. Reminiscent of the works of Charles Dickens, Fallen Grace is worth looking at. Here's a short preview of the book. Grace, holding on tightly to her precious burden, found the station entrance without much difficulty. The Necropolis Railway ran, just as Mrs. Smith, the midwife, had said, on its own special line from Waterloo to Brookwood Cemetery in the county of Surrey. And it was at the London station, just before 11 o'clock, that the newly bereaved gathered, all dressed in the first stage of deep mourning. The few women whose nervous tension allowed them to attend wore heavy veils, their black crepe gowns unrevealed by any bright jewelry, buttons, or fancy trimmings, while the men wore top hats with the mourning band, formal frock coats, and black bombazined cravats. All were waiting for the train, which would take them and their loved ones into the countryside, to the great garden of sleep at Brookwood. Here, away from the fogs and filth of London, their dear departed could rest in peace among pines, roses, and evergreens. You'll have to read the rest of this animated tale to find out what happens to Grace and Lily. Don't forget to pick up a copy at your local library, and be sure to read up.